Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun video because this is going to be the TMI tag. And I first saw a video about this tag on uh, Johnny King's uh, YouTube channel. He is a booktuber. He talks about the books that he's interested on and reading. And he has a very impressive book collection. I mean, the most impressive book collection I've ever seen. So I'll definitely link his video down below in case you would like to check it out, which I highly recommend you to do. He has a very cool channel, so you should definitely subscribe as well. I honestly don't know if my questions are in the same order as his because I just went online and pretty much copied the questions that I found online. I think it's the same questions, I just don't know if they're in the exact same order. So if they're different, that's pretty much why. In short, the TMI tag is a series of 50 random questions uh, which I will be answering and that way you get to know me a little bit better, which I thought could be fun. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So if you see me looking down, it's because I actually wrote the questions down. I use my phone for recording, for those of you who don't know, so I can't really be looking at my phone and recording at the same time. So I just wrote them all down. So if you see me looking down, it's because I am reading the questions. So the first question is, what are you currently wearing? Uh, right now I'm wearing a sweater and jeans. Question number two. Have you ever been in love? Yes, I have. I am currently in love with my partner. Question number three. Did you ever had a terrible breakup? I can't say I've had a terrible breakup. At the beginning of this year, I did have a divorce. And although I don't think it was a terrible divorce, it was still difficult. Uh, question number four. How old are you? I am 28 years old. Question number five. How tall are you? I am around 5'4". Question number six. How much do you weigh? Well, uh, right now, since I'm pregnant, I'm weighing around 160, 165 pounds. Um, usually, I tend to keep my weight at around 135. Question number seven. Do you have any piercings? At the moment, I have my ears pierced and I have my belly button pierced. Uh, when I was younger, I used to have my nose pierced as well, and I used to have many more piercings on my ears, but at the moment, I only have those two piercings. Do you have any tattoos? I do. I have quite a few tattoos. I have a half a sleeve that goes all the way to the back as well, so it covers pretty much a section of my back and my half sleeve, and I also have more tattoos along my midsection. I do plan on getting more as well. Question number nine, what's your favorite drink? Oh, uh, that's kind of hard. I don't think I have a favorite drink per se. I, I really like this drink that my mom-in-law makes. It's called Coquito. And I don't know if it's necessarily a Mexican drink, but it's really, really good. It has a coconut flavor and it's an alcoholic drink. It's really good. I also love watermelon juice. What's your favorite song? Uh, that's like an impossible question to answer. I love music. I love all kinds of music. So it's really difficult to say I have one particular favorite song. I have so many. I can't, I can't even begin. So I, I, I don't really know. I don't have a favorite song. I have way too many songs that I love. So I guess that's my answer. Question number 11. What's your zodiac sign? I'm an Aries. Question number 12. How long does it take you to shower? Uh, that depends. If I'm in a hurry, if I have to get out the shower quickly, I can take a 10 to 15 minute shower. That's pretty much the fastest I can shower. If I have time, I love showers so I can easily be in the shower for 45 minutes is my my relaxed kind of song so it depends question number 13 what's your favorite show uh again that's another hard one i don't watch too many shows but i've had a few that i've really enjoyed uh for example i really enjoyed the game of thrones and i really enjoy the uh, walking dead Grey's anatomy um it's kind of a hard one because i've 
enjoyed a lot of shows. I used to really enjoy Lost, uh, but I was disappointed in the ending of the series. Uh, I don't know. I guess at the moment I would say The Walking Dead and um, also The Game of Thrones. So those would be my two most recent favorite shows. Question number 14. What's your favorite band? I don't listen to bands a lot. I mean, I listen to whatever, but I don't necessarily have a few bands that I just listen to constantly. So this is a hard question for me. Um, I would say right now, Florence and the Machine would be my favorite band. It's the one that I've been listening to the most. So I'll stick to that one. Question number 15. Something you really miss. I really miss my cat, Jasmine. Um, when my ex-husband and I got a divorce, we split the animals. And we had three animals in total. We had Biggie, my dog, Luna, my cat, and Jasmine. And he was always much closer to Jasmine than the rest. Like that was pretty much his cat. So he kept that one and I kept the other two. And I really miss her. So that's definitely something I miss or someone I miss. Question number 16. Where do you go when you're sad? When I'm sad, I go into my head. <laughs> I pretty much just become very much an introvert if I'm sad and I'm just lost in my own thoughts um, as I'm processing why it is that I'm sad and how I'm feeling. So that's my place to go when I'm sad. Question number 17, how long does it take you to get ready? That's another question where the answer depends on how fast I need to get ready. Uh, if I just have to go somewhere quickly, I can get ready in about 15 to 20 minutes. If I am actually going out, let's say I'm going on a date or I'm going to an event where I'm required to do my hair, do makeup and all of that stuff, then I'll definitely take longer. I'll say about an hour to an hour and a half. So it depends. Question number 18. Have you ever been in a physical fight? No, I have not. I've had a couple confrontations. I used to be bullied a lot when I was younger in school and I did have a little issue with um, kind of like a little gang, if you would say so, in middle school. And it got to the point where I just had to stand up for myself. It didn't become a fight, so we were not actually on a fist fight, but it did get a little heated for a little minute. So <laughs> I guess that's the closest I've come to a physical fight. Question number 19, what turns you on? Uh, for me, honesty, um, loyalty, intelligence. If I can have a very good, honest, intelligent conversation with someone, that to me is a turn on. Uh, kindness is also a turn on for me. Number 20, what turns you off? For me is rudeness. If that person is rude or if that person is arrogant, um, that kind of stuff really turns me off. Uh, question 21, quality you look for in a partner. Uh, in a partner, it's really important for me that that person is respectful, that that person is kind and loyal and honest. That kind of stuff is really important. So those are qualities I look for in my partners. Uh, question number 22. What's your favorite color? My favorite color would be lavender, like a very light purple. But I do love other colors such as light blue, as you can see. Um, I like lime green, but I would, I would say my favorite favorite would be lavender. Question number 23. Loud music or soft? I like them both. It depends on my mood. Question number 24. Favorite quote? That's an easy one. I actually have it tattooed and it's I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. And that is part of a poem called Invictus and it's by William Ernest Henley. And I'll read it to you very quickly. Uh, this is one of my favorite poems as well. 
It says, out of the night that covers me, black as spit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under my bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the meanings of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I absolutely love that poem and I love the last two lines on that poem. And that's my favorite quote. Question number 25, favorite actor. Oh, that's another very difficult one. Uh, I'm very bad with the names of actors and actresses in movies or shows. I know I enjoy their performance, but it's really, I don't know, I guess I just don't really follow their personal lives or anything like that. I just like how they are in the shows. Anyways, if I had to choose, I would say Will Smith. I was completely obsessed with him when I was younger and I've just really enjoyed pretty much almost every single movie he's made, uh, TV show he's, you know, had or has been featured in. I just love him so I guess, I guess Will Smith will be my favorite. Question number 26. The reason you joined YouTube. I joined YouTube because I love reading. Reading is my favorite hobby. And in my personal life, there are not many readers. So I don't really have too many people with whom I can talk and discuss about the books that I've been reading or get recommendations or whatnot. So I joined YouTube because I wanted to be part of a community that had the same passions as I did with a lot of people with whom I could talk about the things that I enjoy, which is reading. So that's why I joined uh, YouTube. Question number 27. Do you have any fears and what are they? I do have fears. I feel everybody has fears of some kind. Uh, it's kind of hard. I have quite a few different fears. Like I don't like uh, really small spaces. Like I would never be able to crawl on like a sewer or anything like that. Um, I am not a huge fan of like bugs like cockroaches and bugs of that sort i don't know if i would say that i am fearful of them but i just don't like them i don't want them near me i can't kill them i just don't want them anywhere around me uh what else oh i'm really scared of wasps i'm so scared of those i feel they're evil insects and i just i'm terrified of those uh so yeah Question number 28, what's the last thing that made you cry? I don't cry a lot. However, now that my hormones are all over the place, I do get emotional much more easily. But usually things that trigger my emotions would be uh, such as abused animals or children, things like that. And the last thing that made me cry was actually a video that I saw on Facebook and it was about a polar bear who was pretty much dying of starvation. And that just broke my heart. So that was the last time I cried. Question number 29, meaning behind your YouTube name. Well, my YouTube name is Mia Moreno and that's just my name. So I guess there's no other meaning behind it. Question number 30. Last time you said you love someone. Uh, the last time I said I love someone was this afternoon as my boyfriend was going to work. I told him that I love him and I do that all the time. Question 31. The last book you read. The last book that I read is Here We Are and this is by Oliver Jeffers. I think that's how it's pronounced and <laughs> this is a kid's book and I really enjoyed it but I'll talk more about this on my wrap up for the month. Question number 32, the book you're currently reading. Uh, right now I'm actually reading a lot of different books. I kind of overdid it and I'm reading about seven to eight books at the time. I don't know why I did that, uh, but the very last book that I read, which was just a little while ago, is It by Stephen King. Still trying to get that one finished. 
I will definitely finish it at some point. <laughs> Question number 33. Last show you watched. Uh, the last TV show that I watched was The Walking Dead. Question number 34. Last place you were. Um, not sure what exactly is asking for. I was in my kitchen last, eating, <laughs> which I do often. Um, before that, I was in a different place. Place. I was last place I was at was my in-laws, and that was I think a few days ago. Question number thirty-five. Last sport you played. I haven't played a sport in a very long time. Um, I guess the closest thing to it would be uh, last week I was playing with my boyfriend and his two-year-old um, kind of sucker. <laughs> I guess that would be the closest thing to a sport that I've played recently. Uh, question number 36. Who was the last person you talked to? The last person I talked to was my mom. Uh, question number 37. Last song you sang. The last song I sang was Listen by Beyonce. I was singing it in the shower today. <laughs> um, question 38. Favorite shut up line. I don't have one. Um, question 39. Do you have a crush? I certainly do. I have a crush on my boyfriend. Question number 40. The relationship between you and the person you last texted. I last texted my boyfriend. <laughs> Question number 41. Favorite food. I love food. I love all kinds of food. Um, I'm a foodie. But I'll say my favorite food is very simple. It's pretty much just white rice with fried eggs. But I like them over easy so I can break it all up and kind of like wet the rice with the egg. And then I love also with that particular meal i love uh, fried plantains so i guess that would be my favorite meal it's a very cuban meal <laughs> but i love it then question number 42 place you want to visit there are so many places i want to visit i would love to travel the world and see and experience all kinds of cultures and places but i'll say one of the places that's really high on my to visit list would be Italy. Question number 43. What's the last time you kissed someone? This afternoon, as my boyfriend was going to work, I gave him a goodbye kiss. Question number 44. Last time you were insulted. Uh, I don't believe I've been personally insulted in a while now. Um, but I do feel insulted almost every time I watch the news and see the current situation that we are in when it comes to our government. Question number 45. Favorite flavor of sweet? I will have to say caramel. Question number 46. What instruments do you play? Currently, I don't play any instruments. When I was younger, I used to be able to play the flute, but it's been a very long time, and if you were to give me one, I highly doubt that any melody would come out of it. Um, I tried to learn the guitar once, and I own a guitar, but I never got past the first couple of notes, <laughs> so I don't really know how to play any instruments, I would say. Uh, question number 47. Favorite piece of jewelry? I don't have any really. Um, I would say as a whole, I tend to prefer earrings over any other kind. Just because I feel like it just makes you feel more feminine. It makes me feel more feminine. So I guess earrings. Question number 48. Have you ever used a shadow up line? Nope. Question number 49. Last time you hung out with anyone? Um, I just hung out with my parents about half an hour ago. So, yeah, that's the last time. And the last question, question 50, who should answer these questions next? I think anybody who finds this interesting and would like to do this kind of video is more than welcome to. Uh, so if this is something you would like to do, by all means, go ahead and do it.
that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, that was a lot of questions. But something different to do. I don't tend to do videos like this on my channel. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And I'll make sure to do more tag videos uh, similar to this one. And if you haven't yet and you would like to, please go ahead and subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And I will see you again next time. Bye.